This video will explain when to use searches, filters, or advanced filters. Very fundamentals are if you're looking for an individual student, you will use a search. If you're looking for a group of students, it is a filter or an advanced filter. The only exception is if you are looking for a group of students that don't necessarily match any criteria that would be unique. For example, if you went by the cafeteria and you saw a number of students that were cleaning up after a mess had been made and you wanted to follow up with them. So you would search for those students. So I'm gonna search for uh, Robert Vader and I'm gonna add Emily Smith to the list. And I would also like to recognize Sarah Anderson. Now I have three students selected. I've created a group of three and I want to have uh, information about where they currently are, what their home room is. So then I would simply say options show selected. And now I've created this small group. This is when I would use a search over a filter or an advanced filter. If I were looking for a group of students that I use all the time, then I'm going to use a filter. So in this case, a group that I always need to find is my SHSM students. So I've created a filter for that and I will find my 172 SHSM students anytime I click this button. This allows me to find this entire group at any point. If I wanted to create a list of students that were at the virtual school and let's say in grade seven, that's not a list I would use often, but I might want to have it one particular day. So I will click the advanced search and I will choose grade seven and then type in the virtual school homeroom and make sure that I've got all active students selected here. And I will click search and this will take me to all of the grade seven students that are in the virtual school. So when I'm searching for an individual student or a small group that don't match particular criteria, I will use the search function. If I want a list based on something I commonly use, I will use the filter like my SHSM list. Or if I wanted an ad hoc list that's more than one criteria, I will use the advanced filter to create that list.